I'm Amanda Rentschler. Um, I'm a dancer in Charlotte and a writer and a mother and <laughs> an IT consultant. <laughs> um, and I live here with my husband and my two year old and pets and dogs and cats and fish. <laughs> uh, I actually was an actress with the Children's Theater of Charlotte when I was little and I always got into plays and I got rejected from my first play because I didn't know how to do the grapevine. So I started taking dance classes and just fell in love with it. It was a really uh, different way to express myself without the filter of a script or a different character. I could just move and it was more personal to me. So I just took to dance and um, found North Carolina School of the Arts up in Winston-Salem and went there for high school and just stayed for college. Um, I've been a dancer in Charlotte. After college, I had moved here um, <clears throat> for eight years and the scene has changed drastically. When I first moved here, there were two companies you could dance for. There was Caroline Collusion Company and there was Charlotte Ballet. Um, and I'm not a ballerina, so I danced with Caroline. And now the scene has just exploded. There's all these small companies that are popping up. Uh, there's a lot of options, so I've just expanded my horizon. I freelance all over the place. Um, I dance with lots of different people now, so it's exciting in Charlotte. I mean, my, my mother always said the way to financial success is through multiple income streams. I think it's the same for an artist. It's the, the way to artistic su success is, you know, exploring every avenue that interests you. So I just, I mean, any artist out there I think can benefit from looking at other art or just being a part of creating something that's kind of out of their comfort zone. With Caroline, I'm involved in Carmina Burana, her most recent show, and I'm so excited about it. She, um, Caroline has these large, amazing visions and against all odds she somehow puts these things together and it's so exciting to be a part of that process. Um, during the rehearsal process for these shows you're never quite sure if it's going to work and then the show date comes and it's just, I mean it all works perfectly. So Carmina is um, a huge evening length work. It's got like eight different apparatus, different aerial apparatus that she's using, a huge cast of people um, we're just, we're ticking away at it. <laughs>